I am Mark Payak and I'm Documentation Officer. I like creepy crawlies or invertebrates and I've chosen the Goliath beetle, which is an enormous beetle. The first thing you notice is just how large it is. Um, it's one of the largest beetles in the world, so it's about five inches from the head to the tail, but its legs extend out a bit further than that. And it's amazingly coloured, it's sort of bright white with black dots and black stripes across the head. And because it's a male, it's got two large horns coming out the top of its head, which it uses for fighting. They come from various parts in Africa, in tr tropical rainforest, um, and they tend to spend most of their life underground, because they have to start off life as a grub. The grubs are quite scary, actually. Um, they're sort of large, white, squishy things. You've probably seen celebrities eating them on telly. Um, so yeah, large white maggots, um, they can be about five inches long, um, and they live underground, um, and they're actually predatory, so they kind of dig tunnels and crawl around underground eating worms and all sorts of things. And in order to turn into the beetle, they have to metamorphosize, a bit like the way a caterpillar turns into a butterfly. These grubs have to do the same thing. And because of the wet and the dry season, they don't want to come out when it's too dry and there's no flowers around. So they'll actually spend about six months as a pupa, just waiting for the season to be right before hatching out as the adult beetle. They're quite rare, so you, you probably won't see too many of them flying around. Um, but actually, the early Victorian collectors, um, one of whom probably collected this beetle, um, they actually used to think they were birds and probably shot them down. And in some museum specimens, you can actually see bullet holes in these beetles, which is a bit sad, but it, it sort of just shows you how fast they can be if they can be mistaken for birds. You can't actually see the wings on this specimen because they're sort of folded up underneath, um, but they sound like helicopters when they whiz around your head. Um, and I have kept them as pets, so I, I do know that sound. I've picked the Goliath beetle because it's actually very closely related to a beetle that probably anyone could find in Bristol, and that is the Rose Chafer, uh, which is another scarab beetle that's quite a small, bright, iridescent green beetle, and you see them flying around in springtime. You've probably seen them squashed on the pavement when they hatch out and fly around when the sun hits them. Um, so I chose the Goliath beetle because it's actually in the same family as them. It's pretty much identical apart from the size and the colour. Um, so it's just a reminder that we do have nice creatures in Bristol.